Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C squared. In this example we need to find the measure of angle CEA, which is this angle. Okay, if you notice we have given two arcs, arc AD 100, arc BC 110. How can I find that angle? We're going to use this property which says the measure of an angle formed by two lines. In our case, two chords, CD and AB, intersect inside a circle, it's half the sum of the measure of the intercepts arc. So basically, the measure of angle CEA is half the sum of the arc, measure of arc AC plus the measure of arc B, D. Now you have a question might be, okay, but I don't know anything about angle AC, uh, about the arc AC and about arc BD. So I don't know the sum. In fact, we can find the sum of these two arcs looking to the whole circle. What do I mean by that? Look right here. Measure of arc AC plus measure of arc BC plus the measure of arc BD plus the measure of arc DA right so let's let's take a look at now AC BC BD and DA you see we go back to point A the sum of those four arcs is 360 and if you notice you have here AC and BD. So, yeah, the measure of arc AC plus the measure of arc BD, we, we're going to keep them there. And then we notice what? BC is 110. The measure of arc BC is 110. And AD or DA is 100. So basically now we have the sum of the arc AC and arc BD, right, is going to be what? See, 110 plus 100, 210, equals 360. So obviously the sum of those two arcs will be 150. Right, we subtract 210 on each side, so we end up with 150. So now I can go back here and say what the measure of angle CEA is what? Half of the sum of those two arcs, which is 150. So the final answer will be 2 goes in 150 75 times, so that is the measure of the angle, 75 degrees, right? There is another way to think this problem, find this angle, which is half of the sum of 100 and 110, and this guy then is supplementary to that angle. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.